<laughs> What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again inside MRB Classic Pro Shop here in Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan with my boy. And Mason's actually here, you'll see some shots from him over here. But I've got that new Lane Master ball. I don't know how new it is, but it's that pure diamond. You saw the layout video, now we've actually got holes in it. We're going to throw it out here on a typical 42 foot leak pattern, so stay tuned. All right, here we go. Oh, there goes a nuclear cell. Nuclear cell going down the lane, striking like a madman. It's gonna be like three videos, Mason's kind of doing his little, getting a little uh, little action in. No promo. no promo. All right, so we got that pure diamond. And it's got no discoloration on it. I have yet to throw it down the lane. So <laughs> this will be the very first shot that I've seen or you will see. That is so weird looking, <laughs> so weird. I've never drilled a pure white bowling ball, never ever. Until now, now I have. Oh, it's dirty already. It's already dirty, but that didn't look bad. Oh, the white quantum, yeah. Nice and smooth, early. Yeah, there's a few left off that, but it is. It reads that middle of the lane and then just kind of smooths out. So that's kind of cool. What was that other white ball? There was another white ball back in the day. No, there was another one other than the 400A. There was uh, an older ball, a real old ball. How old do you want to go? You want to go uh, white angle? That might have it. Might have been it. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. A few more left. That's pretty good. Whoa, holy cow. So one thing to note about this company and these guys is they're still making two-piece covers, of course, or two-piece bowling balls. So most of the companies have transitioned into three-piece. And what that means is now there's the core, the inner core, um, the outer core, and then the cover stock. And on this one, there's just the inner core and then the cover stock. And the cover stock fills the entire bowling ball through to the core. So uh, I know they're doing a lot of two-piece. I think they still, I think they do have some three-piece bowling balls. Don't quote me on it. I'm not sure, but I know their MO is still to, you know, use the, uh, the two-piece as much as they can. And th the belief is that they actually hit harder, but I don't know. I don't know, man, this ball. <laughs> It looks pretty good. I mean, it's going through the pins really hard. If you paid attention to that layout video, I mean, it's a pretty standard layout. I didn't do anything crazy on this. It's that four and a half inch layout. So it's going to, you know, be fairly strong for me. And it, it's definitely, it's definitely doing the job. I'm gonna keep going left and see if it ever decides to plaque 10 or anything. I mean, that's, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. It looks good. That looks so good. I can get to that 31 foot mark. Yeah. Stop. And dead through the pens, like the center of the deck. This looks really good. Oh, I got that way right. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so I don't think any bowling ball in the world is hooking from there. <laughs> you know, let's see if I can go back through it and try it again. We're gonna go back through it. Dollar? Dollar. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we gave it a run. What do they call that? Threading the needle? Couldn't quite thread the needle. But it looks good. My boy's down there standing in the dark at the end of the bowling center. Because <laughs> we only have these lights out. He's looking at a water jug. 
All right, one more from Wayne here. See if I can not throw it like a like a bad bowler. It's got a chance. Oh wow! I can't believe that overhooked. <laughs> That's incredible. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if it'll go straight. See how it looks going straighter. I gotta tell you, these, uh, you saw those couple of swag balls and they looked really good. They sold like hotcakes after my videos. I, I, I'm not gonna say I like this one more, but I'm gonna say this one's just as good. This one's just as good as those ones. You find toys? Little man wants some toys. We're gonna go get him some toys when I'm done here. All right, watch out, buddy. All right, right up eight, nine, ten ish. Sit. Ooh, daddy. All right, that looks pretty good. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, there we go. That is that pure diamond by Legends. Uh, it's that two piece cover and core that we talked about a little bit there. Standard layout, four and a half inches, so it's nothing crazy. You saw how strong it was, how much it continued through the pens. Just like those swag bowling balls, this one looks pretty good too. So don't be batting an eye at these bowling balls. These are going to still strike a ton. Even though they're not PBA registered, they are USB-C approved. They all are just as good as any of those other bowling balls. So you might want to give them a try, especially if you're a big, huge league bowler that likes to bowl a lot of leagues. These balls are going to strike a lot. So head over to uh, bowlerx.com get yours today there's going to be a link in the description uh, otherwise come over to mrb classic pro shop we'll order one for you as well you can do whatever you need to do but that's all i got for you let me know in the comments below what you think uh, and until next time we'll see you guys later